Uh, on the show many times I've shown these exercises. I have a lot of people that come to us and say, Jason shows me exercises, I'd like him to show me how to put them together. First of all, let me say this, this is how we make a living. This is a TV show that teaches you stuff, but we teach you just enough to want to come to us in mobile or phone and let us teach you the rest. That's, that's what the point of it is. It's a sample, it's a, te it's a test. So uh, I've been training now, this August will be 45 years second working out studying it little freak loving it um, and I'm trying to break this down the simplest thing possible I'm gonna show you exercises but for at least a series of shows I'm going to show you if you cover the following if you pull you push and you do a leg movement in every workout for full body training um, you've kind of covered your bases and you can also I'm gonna show you how you can change it up and not get bored which is the best thing that strength training has always had going for it. If you run, you just go out and you run. I never could do that. God bless all of you that do. Uh, the other thing about strength training, not only do you not get bored because you can change it up, you also, if your knees are hurting that day, you don't do anything with your knees that day. And there are machines in the gym where you can literally work your, your butt, your inner, your outer thigh, and never move your knee joint. Right? There's ways to work calves that has nothing to do with your knees. So but what we're showing are compound movements for the next many shows, I don't know how many, until I get bored with this. And we're gonna start with, this is a neutral grip chin up, assisted chin in, in this case, because I'm gonna try to do them slow. I don't want me jerking on TV. And I'm gonna show trainers and stuff doing it like I do. Uh, you could do this on a pull down machine too. My favorite grip is the neutral grip. You can also do a regular overhand grip. Um, but this is easier on your, all your joints, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders. Uh, it's just an easier movement on your joints. So especially I'm talking to folks, well, I'm almost 60, but people over 40 start having joint issues. People over 30, if you were jock like me, you, you might have shoulder problems. So this is a great way to do this. Uh, it's self-explanatory, but the only thing I will say about it, and it's why these assisted chin dips are so good, especially like me, to, to need to warm up before I go heavy, is you can come up explosively, but lower yourself slowly. And that becomes more and more important as you get older. When I was powerlifting in my 20s and 30s, didn't matter. Now, I'm a 60, I'm a little more careful with what I'm doing to my joints. You will also find by doing this, slowly on the way down. By the way, on the way down is called eccentric. There's concentric, eccentric, for those that care. Uh, you can really uh, get in touch with the muscle. It's an old thing we say, my muscle connection. It's a real thing, look it up. Um, but like I said, it's double whammy. Easier on your joints, more time under tension for the muscle means more muscle strength, more muscle growth. And yes, ladies, even you want muscle growth.